What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are pretty much just driving east through Europe and bringing the war to the French and trying to open up that, well, preparing to open up that second front against Hanover. Not Hanover, the Prussians. And then at the same time, we are also trying to, or well, getting ready, for an eventual war against the 13 colonies, which they know we are ready for which we they know we are preparing for. We have an army that's going to cross and hit Albany. Boston needs to recruit more troops in case they start raiding over the bridges. Should probably have some ships recruited ready to cover the uh, crossings here. To be honest, there's a potential for lots of leaks to happen. Um, but that's okay. That's why we've got... That's why we have the armies we have there. The idea would be this would be a, a bit of a blitzkrieg, if you like. Here you get in. And, obviously again, as is tradition, we have no money. I'm starting to recruit another Scottish force here in Britain. In terms of tech, we've got some pretty interesting ones coming up. We've got interchangeable parts coming up, which gives us massive reduces, big reductions in um, upkeep costs, which is great. And it, obviously it still boosts the town wealth from all buildings, which is great. But unfortunately, I have one... One coin in the bank. Let's hit end turn. Because obviously, it didn't do us any good. Our spy got killed trying to infiltrate Yankton. It's the one white guy. Okay, so we are being attacked at Cagliari. This force here is pretty depleted. The reinforcements coming in. They've got some strength. But yeah, let's hold them off. We've already fought at Cagliari once against quite overwhelming odds. So now, at the very least, we've... Uh, evened the score somewhat shouldn't be quite so uh so dangerous this time but we still need to be careful because our army is depleted and you know they can slowly wear us down but sooner or later they will break and uh we will have a fully replenished army which will crush them and everything will be right with the world with britain in its leading place. Ah, town defense. Ugly. No, 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 no. That's recipe for disaster with a depleted army. Do not, I can't put all my firepower in the field in the way I want. So let's put. If I had a fully. If I had a full strength army, that'd be one thing, but I don't. So let's take a gamble. Let's take all of you guys. Put you here. I really don't want them to attack from the right flank. So Roger's Rangers are going to cover that approach. These guys I all want to deploy out onto the left here. Really? And same with this gun team, really. Ah! <laughs> What a bunch of goons. Form line for battle. Well, I, didn't want, I really don't want to fight in the town. But I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'll take a fight. And I'll take a fight where your, uh, all your men are coming in right where we want them to. So. Focus the howitzer fire. On their infantry, we've got one gun team. Okay, where's my other gun team? You guys deploy. Get Rogers Rangers back. So the reason why I'm mass deploying all my guys over here is because this is where they're, the actual intact units are coming in. So what we can do... Well... You guys... They can, to be honest, I don't, even, I don't even need all these guys here. Tactical error. So you guys canister shot the 8th regiment. Hopefully we can get them to route, which we can. 
we can quick climb the bejesus out of everyone else. Fundamentally, we are against uh, an army of militia. Four units can make them route easy peasy. So I might actually pull two of you guys back here to help. Get them out of here. What is that? That's line cavalry. So they are, it's they, those. They are good. The end might be nigh for my general, but I do need to. He's currently shooting at my howitzers, which I don't want. This is a lovely situation to be in. So I just form line with you guys. Keep quick climbing. You. <laughs> So the first regiment of militias there going, come on fellas, we've uh, we've got work to do. And as soon as they come in, there we go. Oh, too bad about the sound. They're going to get, yeah, they're going to rout and then immediately they're gone. Bloop. The garrison's been defeated. So you guys might actually go over here in case they get rushed. You can just walk though, there's no... There's no major rush. These guys can pivot. Force artillery coming in. I mean, to be honest, they're not even... They're not needed over there either. Get over here, fill in the gap. Yep, it's another unit routed. Swords raised. go that push them back this is just rinse and repeat they walk in the field they get shot at from everywhere they break so they can't even mob us because they route then they're gone then by the time these guys are on the field my guys are reloaded That is perfect. And you guys can just march up to go fight them. The general could chase people down, but what's the point? Howitzers, can they quick climb the patch of ground where the enemy are entering the field? Yeah, let's get the general chasing people down. want to see how these guys deal with it. I mean, it's completely unnecessary. Yeah, these guys... Yeah, they don't stand a chance. I don't think they can reach. That's why they're not even pivoting. 
Oh no, they are pivoting. They can all just about do it. Here's a line infantry. <laughs> line infantry regiment. Yeah, they're getting hit by quick fire and they're not even in the field yet. Come on, lads. Oh, God. So many men lost. Oh, there's artillery coming in. Yeah, you go stop firing. Militia, militia. Yeah, go after the artillery guy. Because these guys aren't going to be around for too long. I mean, the cavalry might be able to run out. That's why we just want to charge them. Make sure they don't just run past. Fired short. They, they didn't. Man of, the men have dismounted. Okay, they're going to escape. You guys form up again. General. Chase down the 18th. This is just not bad. <laughs> ah. Garrison line marching in. Bless him. As the cock, as the quick line comes in. So good. So much damage for free, more or less. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. Big, uh, big win. <laughs> so this is this is just excellent damage to get against the. This is all garrison troops. One of these units. Last well, that's, that's unit on the front line over here. I mean, they're down to 173 men. They've not even hit hit the field because of quick climb. Yeah, these now this section of the field is all that remains. Fifth regiment cut down, cut in half. Fire lock arm citizenry. Took a few casualties there from quick climb. You can see like so many dead casualties. They can actually get cl they get closer in. Interesting to know. But I mean, they don't make any. Nothing else changes. Yeah. These units luckily missed most of the uh, the quick climb. Both because they're longer. Is this the last unit. It looks like it. They get slaughtered. Yes. Damn right, that was decisive. You damn fools. You crazy, crazy fools. That's 200 men. They lost more than 2,500. No. No peace. This is going to be the end of you, Spain. There will be no more of your presence in the world. You will be wiped out. Ooh, see, that made me uncomfortable. Watching the AI march all army up to my territory. Don't worry. Soon we're going to have... We're going to have that massive global conflict in Europe. Soon. Soon. I would just like to knock out Württemberg and take Amsterdam and have a bit more of a solid front. See, the, Aust oh, the Ottomans are there waiting for us. 
The Danes are bringing back their armies that sailed all the way to the Black Sea, seemingly for nothing. They're going to, Wurttemberg are going to carry on raiding. Good on them, good luck. Barbary states are also a target of mine. <laughs> I mean, we have to fight it. Pity we're a bit depleted, but whatever. Most of the Barbary states units are pretty uh, vulnerable. My artillery isn't ideal. I'd rather have um, like stronger units. But there we are. We can we can only make use of what we've got. Let's see. This could be a bit of a gamble. So again, we've got the same thing as uh, fighting against Spain in that. We know we've got enemies coming in from another direction. In fact, it's the bulk of the enemy forces are coming in from a different direction. So whatever, fra whatever flank looks stronger, we need to pivot. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, they're charging us because they, they kind of have to. The quick climb's done good there. But this is the, their actual garrison coming in. This is just the galleywags that we're fighting. You guys try to hit those camel gunners, that should have to shot. Good, that killed a handful of them. And we've got some Barbary pirates to deal with. Their artillery is has no artillery. Get the lifeguards. Oh, let's have a look at the lifeguards. Yep, they look pretty, pretty regal. I mean, you guys are charging line infantry guards and marines. I don't care what you think you can do with your swords. Make sure you're all attacking these camels. They were not looking to destroy. They're looking to withstand. So these, this artillery. Okay, so the two guns on the left can actually hit their artillery don't pick up the guns we might actually just overall tree deploy except for those two guns they're going to keep firing the at the enemy's uh, artillery from long range. We want to move up our infantry line to scoop them to bits. Force and our uh, missiles with their busbies, although 
can't remember if, it's, if, it, if, it, if it was the right or the wrong answer on QI. Pretty sure Busby might have got a uh, siren. I don't know, it might have been, they might have called them bear skins, but Busby's was the right answer. Yeah, either way, I like QI. British TV quiz show program thing where it's usually the you think you know the answer, but you're wrong and you get docked points. I preferred it with Stephen Fry, but. Yeah. Good show. So. Cover in a good spot. Just that like they are pivoting to try and knock out my. Cavalry. That's, that's really going to not work. Let's deploy my cavalry just to make sure they don't come back. We target the howitzers. Just to make sure they're shattered. And then again, these guys are the garrisons, so it is useful to kill them. You guys are firing at. If that units, unit of Sakers are definitely within range, you should be after them. Okay, get these guys out of here. They've deployed the camels. Just a round shot with our howitzers. Yep, misfire. Danger close cavalry. My hussars are actually in surprisingly good shape. You guys run, we'll bring up the Curacier. Hey, 71 down from 93, that's not bad. And you guys have only lost two. Good. So. You, oh, these, oh they're charging in. Well, tempting to. With their Barbary State standard flying in the air. Oh, they've had enough. There goes their standard bearer. The officer's going to get away. Point square. Oh no, the camels are they're already routing, which is nice. Get my heart, it's just dropping round shot into the camel gunners. What have they got back here? Camels. Artillery. Lots of, lots of dead, dead men. What they've got here. Yeah, I thought they'd come back. That's why it was Curacier in the lead. Get to the map. Those camels have routed. A lot of this infantry is about to get riddled with bullets. 
mean, you guys aren't even... Eh, just try and build them out. few units of camels here, so if we're gonna... Okay, they're aiming at my light regiment of horse, which is good, because it means that they're gonna leave my... Heavy cavalry alone. Those camels are shattered. You guys charge the Amazons. Come on, cavalry, in you get. The end is nearly here. The artillery stop shooting. You guys hit those camel gunners. Yep, those Amazons are down. The Curassier are going to tear these. Oh, they got a good volley off. My guys are upset. Hold. Yes, there we go. Yep. They. So their guys are going to successfully withdraw. Kill that last Camel Nomad. That was their general. Let's charge this Camel Nomad in the rear. It's my lifeguards. They took that... That initial volley was really bad. Let's hope we can break their morale before our morale breaks. It's possible, considering the state of their army. I'm not expecting my regiment of horse to like it. Charge in my other... Charge in my hussars. So they're going to take a bit of a... Like my lifeguards in particular took a real hammering. Get the 21st foot guards in there. There we go. Charge them all on. Charge on into the desert warriors. Charge on in. Two arms, two arms. Again, following them up with the 21st foot guards. Nope, there they go. We're going to continue very briefly because the these remaining troops are garrison units. And it makes sense to do a little bit of a little bit of killing considering they're so close to the edge of the map anyway. I mean, those desert warriors are going, still going to rout. Yeah, that was a bit dodgy, I must admit. My army could really do with some good replenishment. Still, there we go. Now we have the superiority in numbers. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do, you scallywags. Yeah, you can raid. So, well, Gia, you guys recruit militia because they, they might be tempted to send their troops, this army, west. There, you guys have taken a good turn of replenishment. Oh no, that's the, sorry, team. Oh yeah, it was you guys. You guys continue to replenish. Both these armies are in good shape, although one of them, yeah, they're both, they're both good at attacking armies. This force that's, re that's 
being rebuilt in Paris can just just auto that fight. It's just a bunch of Victory! Ooh, we lost a bunch of units. Forwards! Bunch of troops March! there. So you can actually recruit okay, I'm gonna do this through from Paris specifically, because otherwise it's gonna take way too long. Two more artillery, one artillery, two howitzers. And let's get two cool units of line. Let's get some Swiss Guard in. Age executed, yeah, you figured that out. Dijon has been raided. Yes, sir. George Wade is still plenishing. Let's go down the construction, so Konigsberg. Fleet arrives. Ship shape and yep, we have Kevin McDowell to join the officer corps here in England. We have a new field marshal, general field marshal of the army. Get him aboard ship. Can you take up position in. Yes, it is this army. It's attacking Amsterdam. Your Majesty. We have cavalry and artillery up here at Jared Hutchinson. It's a Black Watch. A unit of marines with a knock volley gun. Let's get some. Where are they at? There they are. I saw them. Don't think I could. Don't think I. No, oh, no, wait. These guys. No, these, yeah, these guys. Need infantry. Let's get a unit of Irish rifles and get a unit of green jackets. Yes. Finally. Yeah, they're trying to assassinate Randall Axford. He is not having that one bit. So we have a few fights we can do here, although this would be a have to be a, a rapid siege battle, which is definitely possible. But first of all, let's go up here to Amsterdam and let's take the former Dutch capital into our empire. And then this can be a major troop production center for Northern Europe. That should uh, really, really help us out in any future war against the Prussians, because we can start to really generate large amounts of troops in uh, on the continent. I mean, I do want to build more in Britain, because Britain does have access to um, slightly different unit roster from the home island, I think. Um, but yeah, I really want to. I really want to try and create more. I should, I should. I need to recruit more units from London. To create special fun armies rather than just record recruiting at the front all the time i mean it's definitely the smart decision but i mean means that you end up having armies that have less you know, less special less something less uh they put less about them i suppose so let's create a division of four a division of four to push each breach and then on the right we're gonna have a special force that's going to advance and attack the gatehouse with clansmen. Put a heavy and a regular unit of cavalry on the left. Let's put a unit of lifeguards. Regular heavy on the right. Lifeguards on the left. Heavy howitzers. I mean, put them slightly here. And we're general field marshal of the army. Hold steady. So, attack the walls with my artillery the howitzers quick climb first fire at whoever you like because it does not matter no they're going after the center because they were going after the mortars makes sense let's try and make one do that We're going to blow two holes, two huge holes in the line, and we're going to take it by storm. My Highlander warband waiting. 
They're going to storm this area. My uh, heavy horse artillery are going to make short work of these defences. Heavy horse guard artillery. Well, when one... Ooh, the enemy general's been killed from quick line fire. Looks like the mortar garrison's down to one. There's one man manning one mortar. Should be enough. Everyone else start to chip away at the... Well, everyone else now start to chip away at these other units. We're making our breaches. Then when we make the breach, we all advance as one to complicate their, their uh, decision-making process and how and uh, making it more complicated for them to focus their mortifier on any one uh, sector. We're going to be quick climbing as we go in. This section of the wall will soon be destroyed. Yeah, both sections are nearly done. Well, this unit should... Well, they're not firing anymore. Sometimes it might be... It's about giving orders at... When you're um, at time... When the time is... Ventilation is... Uh, as you can see, they both did fire. There we go. So bombard this, bombard the space, bombard the breach. You guys are still going to also attack your section of the wall. Boom. So yeah, the quick climb has to focus on. We don't have to focus on any of that actually. go so that's one wing pushed up another wing is gonna push up and secure this flank lifeguards are gonna hold mortars are gonna start firing but we've got plenty of good targets for our howitzers especially you you're perfect concerned your general is dead yes i would be too Running a one guy standing there looking at a mortar going, hmm. He's going to fire it though. Shells come in. That's killed 90 men of the 36th Regiment. First Yorkshires. will secure the breaches rest assured there they are aware of what we're trying to do broadly yeah you guys just cease fire so let's get Highlander Warband scale the walls let's get an infantry unit to scale here the other infantry unit to scale to the left mortars are hitting the first Yorkshires good our mortars our howitzers are firing Carcass shot inbound. Oh no, they got... Oh, they lost 100 men. Okay, Highlanders. In you get. These Marines are going to scale the wall. The Scottish Line Infantry is going to... Assault the breach first. It's the 95th. My heavy cavalry is going to be ready to push through the gate.
Also bring up the 12 foot guards here. You man attack. Get all our quick line to fire on the center, lest we have a disaster on our hands. The Marines hold fire. Beating men in. This combat in the center. Yeah, but their numbers are going down quickly. Advance. 103rd in there. These Marines are going to secure the gate. These men are going to secure this gatehouse. At which point our heavy cavalry will spill into the fortification and start to clear out the center. If we can take the gate, even though... There we go. I was going to say we're the only ones on it. So let's get the regiment of horse charging in. Until they are, you know, they're engaging us with our mortars. You guys can attack the first Yorkshire's can attack the 61st regiment above the gate. Once we've got a bit more of a foothold. Let's halt our quick climb all together. Our cavalry are in. Get him in the centre. I don't know why I'm getting sound issues now. Let's charge my heavy cavalry into the horse grenadier guards. Also got my regiment of horse to back them up. Chasseur de Cheval are also here. Island of Warband, get them to charge down the hill, or charge down the ramp. Try to charge my cavalry through the front line here. Let's try to run my Scottish infantry through. My Marines are going to billet the 61st Regiment above the gate. Clansmen have hit the third regiment, or well, they're getting chopped up by the mad men in kilts and hatchets. Let's attack in the rear. Get this regiment of foot down off of the walls as well. Oh, it's starting to chug. Okay, let's stop stop you from attacking. Must stop the chug. Pull my infantry back. Let's pull these Highlanders back. Come on, you got it. You did it. You did it for a minute there. Oh, the enemy! Oh, the city has fallen. They've all, uh, they've all broken. They, oh, the grenade, horse grenade guard has actually dismounted. So their officer and one guy <laughs> retreating. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when the game really starts to chug like that, you you've probably got an, an infantry unit attacking somewhere that you don't want to uh, attack anymore. Let's get rid of the university. Let's repair all of these buildings. Let's repair this army up here. And then let's use these ships we recruited for a reason. To occupy the ports. Any orders? 
stuff. Keep the investment rolling. Let's keep the infrastructure levels high. Because they don't like us, but it's primarily because of the university. But once we get rid of that, we will pretty much be fine. So we've got Amsterdam, we've got Cologne. Once we've got Strasbourg and Stuttgart, then we've already got the uh, the um, Russians already squeezed. Some of our areas in the rear that are a bit more secure I could probably do with upgrading. Because we do have lots of good territories and money from. Obviously we've still got our armies positioned to pounce on the Russians when they do decide they want to make war against us. One army ready to hit Komi, one army ready to hit Kazan. Got another army being raised in Moscow. Get Swiss Guard and the Marine units. Because we're going to have to get ready to deal with these guys once they spill out into the plains. Hmm. Here we dealt with you. I think what I want to do is take Flynn Gardner, attack this army outside of Genoa, so we can push away this force outside and also push the garrison away. So when we attack Turin, it's just one army versus one garrison. I think that's the that's the right decision there. Let's push them back out of Genoa. So if we can wait, if we can push them back, then that means we can probably demand Genoa to uh, surrender because we will after we win this battle the main army outside the city will retreat and the garrison will also be pushed back out of the city so then that's a uh, another city captured for a pretty easy battle out in the open ground things are things are working out just fine so, artillery position themselves on the higher ground. Artillery ready to smother the place in quick line. We've got an infantry brigade on the right. We've got an infantry unit with our Cairo infantry guards on the left. They're going to have reinforcements, but the reinforcements are not very good. And the actual army itself is not very good. So we can afford to be a bit daring here. So... Actually, no, don't deploy our, ca don't deploy our infantry, our cavalry up front. We've got plenty of units here. Well, they're more than capable of shooting most of this cavalry to bits. 7th Regiment Gendarmerie. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to intercept them. Okay, let's advance. You guys... That side of the terrain piece, you guys advance to the south. My field artillery can shoot it whatever they like, get these guys ready to drop into squares. Okay, you guys are going to get involved in a. Let's get a battle against the Chasseur Cheval. Yeah, bad things are happening to them. You guys drop into square. They got shot in the back by some friendly, friendly, quote unquote, chasseur or cheval. 
Okay, so... Units attacked a unit that didn't get into square. I mean, they are determined to engage us in a musket fight. Let's get my cavalry down here ready to hit the gendarmerie. You guys cease fire. Lest you shoot too many of my men in the back. Yes, the reinforcements are coming in atop this hill, but they're not going to help them. Switch my howitzers to round shots. The gendarmerie are routed. You guys are fucked. I'm going to hold fire as well. My whole line is going to reposition. Let's get my cuirassier down here ready to try and break some of this infantry. Some of these infantry shenanigans once and for all. New men advance up to fire into the flank of the 4th and the 18th. You guys don't really have a role. Let's see what they do if I drop these guys out of square. Cut down the 4th Regiment. Yeah, there they go. Now all of these guys form a new humongous line. The Regiment of Horse is now finally deciding to charge my 98th and the 11th Foot Guards. I'm not overly bothered about annihilating any of these units. It's more about keeping the battlefield clear. So ideally, I just want these guys to be shattered so they don't come back. I see you guys can push up to the south of this point. You guys can advance over to the top of it. They're bringing in... They're bringing in reinforcements, but they don't get many. And they aren't exactly strong either. They aren't the sort of reinforcements you're happy about. These guys are in a... You see, they're in a lovely position up on the high ground. Firing down onto the 53rd and the 63rd. Those guys cease fire while my cavalry runs past. I mean, classic, really, that I... My sound decides to freak out. 68th and 69th. A couple of units of artillery and cavalry up high. Push up. Hopefully you guys can knock out. Okay, this artillery is all trying to hit that one unit with my cavalry. Where my cavalry is. Doesn't look like I lost any in that salvo. 
If I could kill the 16th, I'd be pretty happy about that. So while that's not my objective, I'll I'll take it as a happy bonus. As well as getting my cavalry up here to chase down and destroy their artillery. They broke immediately, so we want to charge them. They've not lost any men. You guys are just out of range. Obviously my men up here but are very, very tired. But they're going to... I mean, they're fighting a horse artillery unit and a gendarmerie unit, so I don't expect them to do to work miracles. Well, they don't need to work miracles, I guess is more is a more accurate point. And the 69th are gonna get annihilated by volley fire. You guys fight the gendarmerie, because you're still fighting the 68th. I mean they haven't yeah, the, the horse artillery still exists, so they've not. I'm going to continue because the horse artillery unit is ripe to be destroyed. You guys abandon them. And these guys are going to get strung out in the town. It's unfortunate. It's going to really hamper my efforts to chase them down. It's still going to work because I've got my Curacier and my general's bodyguard chasing down one unit. My howitzers. They just got into range of my howitzers. So you guys keep on chasing them down. Although I don't dissipate the edge of the map's right there. Yeah, you should make some good progress on the 69th though. Three cavalry units can do some do some good stuff. Down to 21-ish units. Well, that's pretty good. That was quite a good win. That's going to push both those armies east. I mean, uh, Milan might get involved. I wonder if I demand the surrender if it still works. There we go. It did work. We can't, so we can't claim the city yet. We want to build... Some ships to occupy both these ports. I mean, we've now created a new front line of the Ottoman Empire, or we soon will have a front line of the Ottoman Empire. Let's hit N10. Ah, and the garrison at Turin is going to sally out. That's pretty good. But looking at the timer, I'm probably going to end the episode here. So a little bit short, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of the Turing Garrison, because I assume they will get destroyed, and then we will, be, we will take the city when it's our turn. Cheers, everyone.